Go. I'm Oscar. I'm Matt. And uh, we're missing Brandon and Subi. They look far away, so they're not here today. <laughs> um, this is our steam car. Uh, it works by charging a turbine, which is connected by fishing line to a spool that winds back for about uh, 10 rotations or so, charging a constant torque spring. The driving wheel is connected to the same uh, shaft by a ratchet, so it doesn't move as it's, as it's rotated. But when the uh, tension in the spring is released, it propels the, the car forward. Yeah. Which you can't see very well on the, yeah. on the rubber surface, but <laughs> it wants to move. Um, yeah, so the mechanism to release the fishing line is basically just uh, when it reaches the end, it's just loosely taped on and either the tape comes off with the string or if it, if it doesn't have enough strength to do that, it just cuts it at this little blade. Yeah, when, when the rotation of the thing gets low enough, the string will get cut by this. Yeah. Razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I think we we put on a spring that was probably conservative, so it's uh, I think we're operating with the turbine spinning quickly with low power, but someone in the future could probably make it make a car much faster. Yeah. Uh, we just basically <laughs> wanted it to for sure at least charge to to move, so we did everything weaker than it could be probably. Yeah. And everything was built much more to accommodate for a stronger spring because we anticipated yeah. a stronger spring to be used. Yeah. So now we're gonna tie the fishing line on. Okay. <laughs> Step one. I'm just gonna put tape on the lead. Alistair does all the delicate things. <laughs> He's got piano hands. So you see that with uh, those clips, the uh, operation tools that Andrew has? Oh, uh, yeah. And also, we probably should have bought some type of color to fish one. Yeah. You guys could use a little bit heavier fishing knife, too, right? We had some other one that was thicker. But then, uh, as it wound up along the shaft, the radius increased. Oh, that's the big so we got less. We got less torque out of the. Uh, yeah. okay. So, guys, how much did you spend overall on the uh, of your own money to make this thing? Uh, on Brent, Brent um, Matt was the treasurer for the project. <laughs> he did the scouting for the materials and stuff, and I think he spent maybe upwards of two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, on the car, there's probably like one hundred eighty. But the the only thing that was really expensive was the pillow blocks. Yeah, uh, fifteen fifteen dollars a piece. <laughs> which we thought of just three D printing those, but it just saved a lot of work not to. Okay. So now we go to lay it on the ground and measure it. What is it? Four hundred and seventy-two something centimeters. Wasn't it? But with the 60 centimeter difference. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 10 times 2 times 9. So this, uh, this calculation is for? This is for the length of the string that we leave on the, on the, uh, around the shaft. Around the shaft, okay. So yeah, 4772. We're, we're trying to figure out how much uh, line we need to wrap around the spool. Okay. Which we'll figure, which we'll determine when the rotation is the car completes. Okay. And, uh, and so I'll turn it around. So you want to hold this? Yeah. Investing in good bearings is kind of essential for the project because you can see that the car will move even on a flat surface like this without very little, very little force. Yep. Okay. So I'm holding, I'm holding this here at the. Am I cutting a line? Uh, 
来也有一个人承认改。Okay, so now we just need to... No, we need to wind that back for 10 rotations. Yeah. But we also need to get a tape on the end. Can we cut a piece off? So we have it marked on the wheel on the side here to remember how many rotations we've done. No, what's that piece? That's that good. Yeah, the scissors are not good. Okay, so I'll do 10. So to feed the, the string on, we need to rotate the... Uh, uh, there'll be zero charge in the spring, and when the turbine starts charging, everything will be set in motion. Yeah, ideally we'd have a ratchet on this spool, but just too complicated. We didn't, we didn't think of that. <laughs> and there's just one less ratchet, so... So 10 rotations? Yeah, uh, 10. Am I going the right way? Uh, that way, yeah. Yeah, okay. What, what's, your, what's your marker? Uh, there's a... We actually put a black marker thing on this side. Okay. So now it's at nothing. So one, two, three. You can put pull from the inside of the wheel, so you just crush the tape on them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm using my nails to press it down. Yeah. And we just need to also feed. Yeah, I got one. Perfect. Okay. And you can see from this side that the spring has zero initial charge. Yeah. Turn it around. Well, we gotta do that slowly into this shit off. Uh, and we have to now, well, remember we have to, while handling it, make sure that this thing. Yeah, this, the thing doesn't move. Should we tape it? Stays tight. Uh, I think it'll be okay if we just hold it. Yeah, and there's enough of uh, like that. So we can put it on the start line now. And you can see here that the spring has no uh, initial charge. But as it winds back, mm -hmm. the uh, the spring wraps around that end, and that's when it starts to charge. Put that tight in the front like that. Okay, I think it's like that. Should we test it with the air first, or we'll be fine with this? I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty loose during the competition. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Like that. Again. No idea. I think it have exploded during the the rerun. So like that. Maybe? Okay. So we put it on the start line. Yep. Well, okay, that's good. The, the bigger you build the wheel, the less likely you are to problem with the tape. You're getting it over the tape. Yeah. Um, so let's just make sure everything's good. Yeah. The novel. Was good. I don't know. <laughs> Probably good. There you go. Looks good. Yeah. All right. Cool. So what stops it, uh, the uh, the wheel from turning? Uh, and 
until your, your string is all wound. Uh, uh, well, there's just no no torque on it that way. It's actually torquing it to go backwards with the ratchet. Okay, it prevents yeah. it from going backwards. The driving wheel is only driven in one direction, so okay. it's a, after the five meter mark, it just coasts. Thought about this thing. What's wrong? Well, just the uh, there's not much clearance between the uh, spool and the ground. And yes. it might be touching the memory floor. Uh, that, that, that won't be a problem. Right. Gotta get to start that. Yeah, it works. It's spinning like crazy. Oh, It's gonna hit. Oh, oh. okay. Cool. Anyway.